Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Mayuko and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, highly anticipated video today because we're gonna talk about my stream setup. I've been streaming for like a year-ish now on Twitch mainly, and uh, I've gathered a lot of tools for streaming and I wanted to talk about which ones that I use today. I genuinely enjoy streaming. Most of the time I stream like co-working streams where we do Pomodoro timers together with some chill lo-fi music playing in the background. And occasionally I'll also stream playing games. I'm not very good at them, but I enjoy them. So a lot of the time I'll stream something like Ultimate Goose Game. Sometimes I'll play Valorant, but oh my goodness am I bad at that game, but it's fun sometimes. So we have fun on my Twitch channel. So yeah, streaming is just kind of a big part of my life these these days and I really enjoy doing it. I know that some of y'all watching this videos are from my stream so holla in the comments if you are. Today we're gonna go over things like computer, my microphone setup, what camera that I use, as well as just some overview of the software that I use and so we'll just dive right into it. Let's get this thing going. Before we get started, thank you so much to X-Team for sponsoring today's video. X-Team is a community of remote developers that help communities scale their development teams. So I know a lot of y'all are looking for jobs right now, and I think X-Team could be a very good opportunity for some of you. When you join X-Team, you gain access to job offers working on long-term projects for companies like Riot Games, Fox, Coinbase, and you get $2,500 per year to use towards activities and gear that help you stay energized and always growing. So this video is gonna be about my stream setup, but X-Team is on the hunt for the perfect developer desk. They asked me to review my current setup and explain why it fits my developer needs, so stick around to the end of the video as you're giving away one of my favorite desk items to upgrade yours. Okay, so the very first thing, probably the most important thing, actually definitely the most important thing in streaming is the computer. So because most of the time I'm streaming co-working sessions, I'm doing a ton of work on my Mac. And given that the stuff that I do on my Mac tends to be pretty resource intensive, like editing or running Xcode or whatever, I tend to delegate the streaming part of things to a completely different computer. That computer is a Windows. Yes, it's a Windows. Do I know how to use it well? Of course not, but I have one. This computer is actually a hand-me-down from Scott, my husband, because he always builds his own PC for gaming. And he gave me this one because he didn't need it anymore. And wow, is it beefy and it's really great for streaming. So it's a custom built PC, but it's running Windows 7 and the processor is the Intel Core i7. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. And I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about how you specify Windows machines, so there's a couple of other specifications, and so I'll leave them right here for your convenience. Um, but yeah, it runs great. I really like using this as my streaming computer. It handles everything super smoothly and really well. Granted, it does make my room hot because it's a PC, but it's great for streaming. Oh, and it handles running a game plus streaming just fine. Like I've never had problems with that, and so it's perfect, I like it. The next part of my streaming setup is the camera. So I know a lot of people use a DSLR and set that up as their webcam, but I don't really have like a great corner to put that in, or rather I'm lazy and I don't wanna do that. Uh, and so this is actually another hand-me-down from Scott's setup. This is the Logitech Brio. This is probably actually like the beefiest webcam that you can get before you actually use a DSLR, but it's really nice. The quality is pretty good. It connects straight into my PC super easily. It's really easy to use, zero hassle. I will say that the autofocus on it a little bit tends to be sort of wonky, but what camera isn't? I just have it clipped to the side of my desk and that's really convenient because occasionally I'll want to do like a top down view for a keyboard or something. And so I've been enjoying using this one. Next, we're gonna talk about my microphone and its stand. So if you watch the vlog linked right here, then you'll see that I upgraded a lot of these next few parts of my setup. And this is one of the things that I'm so glad that I upgraded because it's been so nice. So the microphone that I use is a Shure SM7B. Like it is the Shure SM7B that a lot of artists and streamers use. I love it. I've used it for streaming as well as recording some music and 
it's just great y'all like it's just so hassle free it picks up audio so crisply it doesn't pick up any like room sounds or anything like that super duper love it and granted i didn't do like a ton of research when looking for a mic i knew that i just wanted to get something that works well and i'm not gonna have any issues with so i shelled out for a shore because i was like it's gonna be a while before i probably graduate from this one but this is the one that a lot of other youtubers podcasters streamers recommend and so i got it and i have zero regrets so the microphone itself is mounted on the rode psa1 pro studio arm this is another one of those things that i didn't do like a a whole lot of research, but it had good enough reviews. It was at a good price point. I really like Rode products in general because I use a Rode mic for this stuff as well. And so I tried it out and I also really like this one. Previously, I had a stand that would kind of creak and it would like pinch me often. It was not fun. And so this one's just been great. I really like how freely I can put the mic really anywhere I want it to around my desk and it just sits there. It's also got some cable management, which is really nice because nobody wants cables all over your computer and your desk. Like, that's not cool. Ignore all of this cable messiness because that's just for me to deal with. <laughs> And so while we're on the topic of audio, next is my sound mixer. And so the one that I use is a PreSonus Studio 24C USB-C audio interface. So I know a lot of people start with the Focusrite sound mixer, but my husband didn't actually have great luck with that. He said that there was a lot of like random noise and stuff that the thing itself creates. And so I was like, well, if I know that that could happen, let's try this other one. And so I bought the PreSonus. And honestly, it's been great. It has two inputs and it connects via USB-C. I can change a couple of things on it, but it's a very simple audio interface. And because I'm not doing anything super fancy with lots of different inputs, it's been working great. So yeah, I really only use like one of the inputs, but occasionally I'll also plug in my guitar because it's an acoustic electric and play some music on my Twitch stream. So yeah, I occasionally jam on my Twitch streams and that's fun because it's like, I can do what I want on my Twitch streams. And because my co-working sessions are called Muko's Cafe, I often like to think of it as like, it's open mic night with just one contestant, me. So uh, sometimes those are really fun to do. And the last like hardware-ish related thing that's part of my stream setup is my stream deck. And this is the Elgato stream deck. Everybody has this one. This one is like the de facto stream deck that you could even like get at Target or something. There's 15 keys on it that are programmed to various applications that I use that I'll get into in a bit. Um, but it's just been really convenient to be able to toggle different things at the push of a button. And the stream deck itself supports a lot of different applications. And so I had some fun kind of playing around with it. You can even create like multiple interfaces of it to do different things, but it's just been super convenient. I think instead of needing to like click and drag and switch to different applications and stuff, it kind of feels like I have like my own mission control. And so that just adds like a fun dimension to streaming. But yeah, the stream deck is not something that like I absolutely needed for the stream setup. Uh, it's just a very like nice to have. In fact, my moderators got this for me for like my one year anniversary and it has made my life easier, but I wouldn't say that this is like a, you need to have this in order to start streaming, obviously. So next up, we're gonna talk about software. So for the streaming part of it, I use Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs has been pretty easy to use in creating different scenes and making sure that all of my audio and video is working as well and being able to see the chat and whatnot. I wouldn't be able to tell you the differences between all of the OBS platforms out there, but Streamlabs has been just easy to use, and so I've been using that one. In conjunction with Streamlabs, I also use Nightbot, which is a bot that can kind of do like a lot of different things for you. It has its own auto moderation stuff in addition to what is done on Twitch, as well as being able to add commands that you use often and song requests, you can do giveaways. It's kind of just like an all-in-one that I also use with my streaming stuff. And then for sound mixing, I use voice meter potato. Sound mixing and all of like managing audio inputs and outputs is like calculus to me in my brain. So I have like a diagram that I use with myself and Scott uh, whenever we need to debug audio issues. And oh my gosh, my brain feels like it does backflips to understand it all. But it's one of those things where you set it up once and you hopefully never have to touch it again. But voice meter potato, I feel like otherwise makes all of that pretty easy to deal with. Also voice meter potato allows you to add reverb to your voice. So again, 
important for the jam sessions. So again, thank you so much to X-Team for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I've done a ton of desk related videos before and so I'll link them in the description box down below for you to check them out. As far as my current setup goes, I'm kind of changing it around right now. I'll make a full video once it's settled down a little bit, but one of the things that I'm really enjoying that's kind of a newer addition to my desk setup is my Grove Made Desk Mac. I've actually been eyeing this one for a while because I thought the color was really nice and it would fit well with my desk color. The wool seemed really nice and I wanted something that kind of could act as a mouse pad and just a landing station for my keyboard and mouse. So when I got this sent from Grove Made, I was so happy because it really lived up to my expectations. I just think it works really well on my desk and I feel like it brought everything together really nicely. x -Team wants to help upgrade your setup and so they're giving away one of these to you all. So to participate in the contest, you just need to write a comment with the hashtag XTeamLife. They'll choose a random winner from all the video comments and the contest will run for a week. I really hope that you watching this right now wins it and so good luck. Thank you so much again to XTeam. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you come hang out with me on twitch.tv slash hellomoyuko every once in a while. We have a very kind community of people who co-work together. It's a very like positive and wholesome part of the internet that I'm very proud to have created and helped build. So come hang with us. Tomato Titans. If you like this video and you want to see other kind of like tool desk setup related videos that I haven't covered before, then let me know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates about new videos that I create all the time. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.